So we're back. We're going to be heading over to Dr. Amari. For sure he's going to tell us something about about an ID chip, I believe. Huh. Let's see. Good neighbor. Pretty sure it's a friendly place. You can mix and match all different kinds of power armor pieces on a single frame and add mods to them. I mean, to most of the pieces to increase their effectiveness, which I did already. Too bad I need science to like uh, lock more of it. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets. Or accidents start happening. What? Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that. I was about to shoot this motherfucker who's gonna do, you do some crap to he me. Ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Um, I'm fine. Yes. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Um. Uh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long when a guy with a fucked up face helps you out, and charge. you know he wants good attitude from you, just see. Uh, I said, uh, oh, taking his shit. There, now he's naked. You guys can go do shit with him now. Hey, you don't want? You forgot this. You forgot his. Oh. I should censor that part. You guys forgot this shit. Hey, you guys accept dead bodies? What the hell is that? Is that a robot? Well, hello. What the hell? No, that's a first. Is that a... I was about to steal Fat Man. I would if I had a chance, though. Wait, I'm trying to pick this up. Hey, Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Let's see what you have. Let's get you out. Uh huh. Let's see what it has. So rifle already got it. Huh. Seems like some good armor here. Especially that one. Wow. 44 in, in armor. Devastator. Drifter outfit. Oh, I, might, I might lose my, my current outfit now, seeing that I have those right there. Party starter. Against humans. I wish it could be like against animals or against um mutated animals, because those keep on appearing out of nowhere, apparently. I already have one of those. Okay, we're gonna head over towards the uh, the mission now. Let's see how much these cost. Sixteen thousand, man! You're stupid. I'm gonna kill you next time I see you. Ribbons workbench. Join the road. Whatever that means. Very empty space you got here. Power armor station. Warehouse. Hi. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Okay. Is everybody's face fucked up here? 
Well, except for that guy. Old state house. Okay, let's talk to this guy already. I was trying to figure out how to put my weapon down. It's just a square. Let's go to memory den. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some few cutscenes. Well, not cutscene cutscenes, because I know it's not cutscenes in this game. But more like lifetime cutscene. Hmm. So so far it's so good. I mean, I love this game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? I thought you had forgotten me about the helmet. I should take out my helmet. I have a lot of bandanas here. Put this one on. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Hey, Valentine. Amari's Let's go talk to Amari. You big flirt. Okay. Let's see what Amari is up to. Who's Amari? For Amari, she's downstairs. Can I steal her shit? Amari's terminal password. Remember you, thank you. I'm not sure you guys remember, but I stole some keys from the uh, mayor <laughs> in front of him. Like, he didn't even fucking care. It's fucking crazy. Let's go find out. See what. See what the hell is up. I love my hair, though. Amari? My character. Yes. I take it this isn't a social. Ooh. Just store your shit. Oh, I know that machine was gonna come up. Uh, this one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please, Please help us. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here you go. What I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural <laughs> interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, is the brain so still the good? the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could huh. be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to do? keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I should probably stand here because I know the freaking. That's what I was afraid of. Thing was not even. The mnemonic anything. impressions are encoded, 
It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Okay. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple, but that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. Yeah. Let's right. do it. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. I had glasses for like for so long. This is the first time ever like I see my character without it. I can feel the longest time. Side. Sit in the memory launcher. I wonder what's gonna happen though. <laughs> Piper's just standing out there. Initiating brainwave migration. Yeah, she's missing the right leg piece. Oh, she has a different one. Activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Huh. I wonder what's going on. So what she's trying to do is uh, trying to learn. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, look. Oh, yeah. The simulation appears to be working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. What the fuck? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Of what? I guess I need to follow this thing. I'm actually moving it, so I'm not sure what's going on. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I th Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, this is kind of similar to uh, what's it called? In her way, to that that video game she protected me with that. Um, <laughs> that Life is Strange. Life is Strange also had this like similar moment. I never knew what happened to her after I left. This doesn't seem I to didn't be what we're know. looking for. Not then. There appears to be another. So yeah, this is similar to Life is Strange. Like there was this one moment. Sequence. There. Try that one. Oh. What's going on here? The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, She'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. She had a baby? Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, There's a step I never deserved her. <laughs> Not for one second. I have Kellogg's pistol. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. This is weird. <laughs> I swear. What's going on here? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs and you weren't there to help them that was when Kellogg had hair I guess What's I found on? another memory to try I'll connect you <laughs> I 
All right, this is interesting. <laughs> it had like so much more than just being an FPS third person shooter thing. This this is just more. Mind if we? There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Sit down. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. I guess. Wow. It was almost always a bar, though. Try this next That's one. universal. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna fall down. Let's see where this is heading. This is interesting. Mr. Hello. Ah, look, he finally lost all his hair. With me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's <laughs> that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh. That's his pistol! Boom! Hmm. It's crazy. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Huh. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. This is the part where they killed me. Suspended. I think I was over here. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all <laughs> There's me. Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Yeah, but they had hazmat suits. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. So that's why he did this shit. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> this is the one. Here. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of Open it. But why? But why the baby? I don't understand. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, baby. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the whole book? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. What? Whenever you're ready. It just happened. That's crazy. I got to relive the first scene. <laughs> All right, enough of nostalgia. Let's go back. Where are we going to? 
Is it's that Sean. your son? Wasn't my idea to, to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. News, I think. <laughs> oh, so this was Diamond City. So what now? This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Okay, so what now? So I click on Sean? Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. Okay, so what now? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? That's a badass suit. New orders <laughs> to be you. honest. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in... He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Glowing sea. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. What? Oh, what? <laughs> he just teleported over here. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. What the fuck? Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Because there's no Let entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Well, I'm ready. Just send me whatever you're gonna send me to. That's crazy. Teleporting. That's gotta be a new skill. It's gotta be some kind of perk towards the end of like scientific or something. I don't know. That's crazy. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever. <laughs> There's your slow before. fucking movements. I don't How give do a damn. Feel? I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. That's not surprising. All the synapses in your brain have just been pulled apart, connected to someone else, and then pulled back together. I injected what? you with a large stim pack while I was pulling you out. That should ease things. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um, Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. 
This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. I'll if we need it. to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed Why can't I just use a boat and get there? Find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. This is crazy. Oh no. I'm not going there. That's crazy. And plunging into a dead man's memory wasn't crazy? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Uh -huh. I just meant the situation we are in is crazy. Jesus, lady. Okay, so I gotta go to the glowing sea. Hey, where'd the robot go? Amari. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Where is this glowing sea, anyways? Pretty sure the only sea there is is like the all the way towards the right. Or well, maybe if we're going to this island or something. Huh. It's crazy. Where's the next mission, anyways? The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, what is this place? This is a bunch of toilets. There's nothing over here. Okay. Hey, what's up? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. <laughs> Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. <laughs> that or you could you keep buy mentioning the, 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 the power armor. Right away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Keep Piper. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Yep. So we're off to the radiation of the radiation C, right? Where the hell that is at? I'll probably do that one another day because already it's already like good good old five episodes that I recorded tonight. <laughs> yeah, I actually do this like like uh like a whole night. So that was an interesting story that I just saw right now. Wait, what? Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Dombrowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is. Feel I'm me? not buying that. Yeah. I you tell heard what, what you did. Yeah. Save yeah. that Rex Gordon from there Super Mutants. Yes, comments. not everyone appreciates Who five are. us apart, am I right? What kind of twist well, those people have like some fucked up phases, but right. Hey, I'll be right community. back. How are you? I'm Piper Wright, public occurrence. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You burned yourself some shit. The Institute. You're looking at them. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even yeah, those tools thanks. over in Diamond City. Uh, 
I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with him. I will shoot him, but I don't want to mess up the story and whatever winning's going on here. <laughs> whatever. So where, where's our next mission, though? Wherever this glowing radiation sees that. Or where are we going at? So what's our next quest? Wait, let me get the hell out of here. And the map. There's like literally no sea here, so why the hell do I even need a radiation suit? It make no sense. Yeah, the nuke blast. That has to be it. Glowing sea. But there's no sea here. Seems weird. Hey, we should head over to Vault 81 at some point. Alright, we'll head over to the castle. <sighs> so